Um, they call me the goat guy, Mark Warnke, here on Ripple Ranch in Boise, Idaho. And I'm going to show you a couple of techniques with the California Bander, because a lot of you guys got bucklings that you're looking at banding right now. Um, let's speak first about the three different ways. So people are crazy opinionated about the right way. The reality is all of them work and all of them have benefits and all of them have negatives. Um, I have found in my opinion, so the three are Berdizo, where you actually clamp the cords. In my opinion, the only reason to use the Berdizo if you're gonna do it early, but if you're gonna castrate a male and do it early, you're doing it wrong in my opinion, so I don't like it. At four to six months when you should be castrating a goat, that cord is so rigid, keeping that cord in that Berdizo tool. And also, I want you to feel comfortable learning how to do this on your own. The Berdizo is a hard tool to run on your own. It just is if you're doing later castration, which is what you should do with weathers because it helps to prevent urinary calculi. So I don't recommend, Ber Berdizo is my last recommendation for people to try to do this on their own. It takes too much skill, it's very complicated, and the goat throughs goes through a lot of trauma. The next one is to have a vet over and do castration. And I, I've done that, I don't mind it, um, but I can't imagine that that's any more easy on the goat. I mean, has it, you, they, they cut open the ball sack, they pull out the balls, literally pull them out, cut them off, pinch them, then cut them off, and then they leave it open. Um, and so it's a big open wound that is, if you do it late in the, in the summer, then you got to worry about flies and it's an issue. If you do that early in the spring, usually you're doing it too young and then you have that issue. So I don't, I'm not a fan of castration either. What I like is the California Bander. I think it's easy to use. It's simple. Um, we're the most affordable place you can get it, mainly because the tool is the same price you can get it everywhere else. But when you get it, you got to get a with like a giant bag of the bands. You have to get like 25 bands. Uh, on our site, you can just get five. So if you have a small herd, it's perfect. You don't have to buy a bunch of bands you're not going to use. And this is, you know, you know, rubber tubing. It erodes over time. So it's not like you can keep the same bands around for five years. So you end up kind of wasting your money if you have a small herd. So I recommend that you get this from it. But this is how it's used. It's really simple. Also, we're going to provide a link in the description to a detailed video that shows you how to do it, but I'm going to show you how simple it is. I'll put them on this stanchion. I don't have a goat I'm ready to castrate right now, so it's still too early, so I'm just going to show you on a rag. But anyway, it's the time of year where a lot of people are doing it. So you come in, you have them on the stanchion, they're eating grain. You go at it from the back and you grab the scrotum. So you're going to grab the scrotum. The key is you have those two teats that are hanging right here. So when you wrap it, you have to pull it as tight as you can. So you want to pull it as tight as you can, and you want to wrap in a downward motion so you're avoiding the teats. And then we're going to come around, and then if you see this clip, the way you do it is you slip it in between that little clip. It pops down in there, and then you come around, and bang. And now you got that, and then what you do is you actually, because the way this clip goes, you just rock it back out and then you're free. And now he's walking around with this little rubber band and he'll kind of ooh and ah and man, wow, that doesn't feel so good for just a little bit. I have heard of people having extended, while that doesn't feel good reactions in their goat, you can treat with a little bit of banamine, which helps with painkiller. Um, but honestly, at this point, I've probably done 70 weathers. And I've never had one that's had discomfort more than two hours. So I know that it happens and I trust the people that say that. I've just never seen it ever. Um, I've never had a bad situation with it and it works super good. Um, it gets really, really crazy tight. I've never had one fail. Um, I think it's the best way and it's what I recommend that you do because it's doable. The key is to make sure that you're pulling it as tight as you can to full extension you make that wrap at full extension, and then when you slip it down in there, you just cinch it down, and it's really pretty self-explanatory, and you can practice on the towel like this before you do it, before you have your live subject, which is what I actually recommend you do your very first time. Um, and anyway, so you can get those California banners on packgoats.com. Don't forget, um, we also have all the members, or excuse me, both a membership that allows you to watch me raise goats 
um, over the year and you get to see me take them through every situation from banding to birthing to milking to raising all the goats here on Ripple Ranch, as well as we have courses on every subject that you would want and they're all really super affordable. So how to raise a baby goat, how to help a goat have a baby, um, how to everything you need to know about milking goats and Pat Goat 101 and blah, 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 blah. So all that stuff is available for you on patgoats.com. I hope you find that helpful. Mark Warnke signing out. Oh, make sure you do click to subscribe and you comment and you share this with your friends. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs>